Hello, my name is Casey Bermozik, and this is a demo of my browser-based audio synthesis platform, WebSynth. This is a platform I've been working on for a uh, very long time, over three years on and off. And um, yeah, it's finally ready to show off in a meaningful fashion, and I'm very excited to show it to you today. So what does it do? WebSynth, it's a pretty... Okay, so it shares some resemblances to traditional DAWs, like Ableton or whatever, Bitwig, but it also has features of modular synths like um, Eurorack and similar things. It's a used to be a pretty disconnected amalgamation of different modules and experiments, but now I've been working to make it a more cohesive experience, so everything works together, integrates, and you can use it to make music, make little like, generative patches and stuff like that. So yeah, to, to try it out for yourself, it's fully free and open source, of course. You go to synth.amio.dev and it should work in pretty much any modern browser. It's kind of sketchy in Safari though, so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, you'll be created with a page like this with access to a few demos and a preloaded patch, which you can play on your computer keyboard. I'm a big fan of that sound. Uh, this is my favorite, one of my favorite things I've come up with on the, on the tool. So, so yeah, to give you a rundown of what's going on behind the scenes of this patch, uh, you can click between these different tabs up here. So we have a graph editor, which is a node-based view of the audio graph, which is, you know, creating this patch. So we can see we have um, some modulation coming from an LFO, which is also modulating the rate of another LFO, which is modulating some parameter on this synth. We have a MIDI keyboard, which currently maps to our computer keyboard here. You can click or use the computer keyboard. And MIDI editor, which is just passed through right now. And the uh, main show, which is the synth designer itself. So this is a polyphonic 8 operator FM synth, fully modulatable, fully patchable, sort of similar to FM8 with a lot of other features added in. It's got a bunch of built-in effects, envelope generators, filters, the whole shebang. And in addition to that, one of the coolest features of this project is the code editor. So there's two, the support for two different languages, Faust and Soul. And you can either load in some existing code that I have here, take some open source code from the internet and compile it dynamically into WebAssembly and then patch it live into your audio graph. And you can have full control over the parameters as well. So you can modulate the parameters using nodes in the audio graph. You can process audio however you want, feed it back. It's all handled, it all works, and it, it sounds really good. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, to give you a rundown of what's going on here, we have a um, Super Saw 16 voice unison with detune, but we don't randomize the phase, so they slowly go out of two or out of phase with each other. And you get that huge sound, but it's also modulated by um, we're doing FM on the, the super saw using this sign operator, and the amount of FM is controlled by these these LFOs. And so if we take that off, you don't have any of that movement. Let me put it back in. You see, if we get that. A lot more sound coming in there. So that's the kind of stuff you can do with this, right? You can you can patch stuff in dynamically, you can try stuff out, and it all runs in the browser. You can share, you can share it, composition sharing, and then generate a link. Anyone can load it up and try it out for themselves instantly. Um, so yeah, let's let's check out some of the other demos we have here. So this is the modern talking wavetable from Serum, which I actually took it from this Nord Modular G2 synth. Um, and I load it, you can load it up into WebSynth. This FM synth supports wavetables as well. You can load them in from you know web files or create your own using tools like WebEdit. And yeah, we have this this UI built using the control panel. You can actually build these U UIs yourself for your patches. So you can drag these things around and um, you know have markdown notes and all that. And then it all maps into the patch. Oh, the graph editor here, so you can patch your different things together, and... Anyway, I should play, shouldn't I? So 
So this is the, uh, it's a pretty famous sound in a lot of uh, 2010s dubstep and EDM stuff. And I have a um, FM patch set up as well. So you can FM the, um, the actual wavetable, which is a kind of cool thing. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of cool stuff you could do. I'm a big fan of the sound and I was very, it was quite the effort getting the wavetables to load in and work correctly. Let's check some of these other demos. So yeah, I mentioned as in addition to the um, to the like MIDI kind of style DAW kind of workflows, you can also do modular esque kind of patches. So this is all a bunch of random, you know, step randomness sources with MIDI quantization and. It's all being used to control this sort of FM synth here with a nice little um, reverb on the end as well. Um, so this, yeah, this is the kind of stuff you could do. And the nice thing about all this stuff is it's all interactive. So all these demos, you can you can tweak the different parameters and change them however you want, right? It's all interactive and you refresh the page, it will persist your changes. That's a really important thing to note. If you ever run into it, I put a lot of work into stabilizing the tool, making it you know work a lot better, but there are still some rough edges. So if you ever run into anything, you could either control R to refresh or you know reset back to the demo screen. Uh, let's check some of these other demos. So this is this is a full song style thing. You can see it's a pretty pretty beefy patch here. And to get it started, click the play button on the right. There's a lot going on. We have this looper, which plays different MIDI sequences and loops them, and it's routed to the MIDI inputs of three different synthesizers here. You can sort of hear which one's which if you unpatch it. But this one's still going to play because it's held down. But yeah, you could you could again see that this one has the. It all matches together. You can play with it. You can tweak things and try stuff out. Um, and we got the flanger effect, which is like from us from the Faust standard library. Uh, we have again the reverb. I use reverb in pretty much every patch. And these three different synthesizers, all using the FM synth. So let's reset back to scratch here real quick. I'll show you for the FM synth. You can also play around with different presets. We have them built in here, right? Um, And you can share your own presets as well if you have something good. Um, one other demo to check out here. We have a physically modeled bell, again from the Faust standard library, showing off the kind of dynamic code compilation we can do. Um, so it's actually like a 3D model of a bell, which they load in and simulate the, the acoustics of. So you can actually simulate hitting it with a, with a mallet and then we patch that into some pitch shifters and get this cool ambient kind of effect. And of course, all this stuff is modulatable as well. Or you can unpatch it and tweak all the parameters yourself in real time. All right. Um, that's a high level overview of, of what WebSynth can do. So there's a lot of other modules, which I didn't touch on. Um, to access them, you go to the either graph editor, you can add them down here, there's a list, or you can double click on the background and search by name and patch them in and stuff like that. Right click to remove. And then if you want to add higher level modules that go up here, those are added using the plus button on the right. So you can add in like a, um, a filter designer, which is kind of like a um, equalizer, EQ8 kind of thing. You can add in different filters and tweak the parameters and see the response. And yeah, it'll it'll generate you a node which you can patch into your graph however you want. Yeah, so yeah, I, I think I touched on this, but yeah, we got the composition sharing as well, which you can load different compositions, and these all work um, as URLs you can touch as well. So you can go like.
one of these URLs that'll generate for you. I'm gonna shut this one off so you can hear this one. And sorry if that was super loud. You can share them around and try them out. And again, these are all patchable as well. But yeah. I don't know what else to say. I mean, there's a lot of other modules that I didn't touch on. There's the um, granular synthesizer. There's the looper, which we didn't go into more detail on. And then there's the fully functional MIDI editor, which you can... Used to create MIDI, saving and loading, looping built into this thing. Um, yeah, I mean, it's still very much in development, but I do believe it's at a point where you can create music with it, right? I think some of those demos prove that this this counts as music, I think. And I'm going to be spending a lot more time now, now that the like the core platform is in place actually using it to create, you know, produce music of my own. Little demo style songs like this, nothing nothing huge. And I'll figure out where the remaining gaps are <laughs> through using it, right? And then I'll work, work on um, adding support for those kind of things. Yeah, it is definitely ready, available to try out. You can go and check it out. Again, synth.amio.dev. Um, and if you do try it out, I would love to hear what you think of it. Um, oh yeah, I also have a standalone demo of just the synthesizer here. So if you want to check this thing out. You can do that as well. FM.html. It's like a, a much more trimmed down demo. Yeah, of just the FM synth. A lot of different presets to play with. Um, but yeah, again, if you do try it out, let me know what you think. Um, you know, if you run into any issues, there are definitely bugs and little missing pieces, which I will be working to fix in the coming months. Um, but yeah, hope you think it's cool. Hope you enjoy this video. And um, yeah, thanks for checking out WebSynth.